Alright y'all, so this video is going to be about Joe Biden. Alright, now, I'm not sure how I'm going to word the title on this. Um, you know, you got to be careful how you word things for on YouTube, stuff like that. Now, his administration, okay, is debating and considering on um, paying hundreds of millions to families separate at the border. Alright, now before I get into the amount, which is just mind-blowing, alright, but before I get into the amount, all right, um, if you are a illegal immigrant, all right, and you get separated at the border, whether it's your children get separated, your wife, or all of the above, all right, or vice versa, husband, wife case may be, brother, sister, wife case may be, or you just get separated from everybody, all right, whatever the case may be, you take that chance knowing that it will happen, all right. Number two, um, the people that are coming over here and, you know, are complaining about working so many hours and not making the minimum wage requirements, right, that is something that you also take on responsibility as you illegally cross, all right? Because you always know in the back of your mind there's that chance that you will get separated from your family. That's always there. There's always that chance, whether it's from day one to day 1,000, all right? There's always that chance that you will get separated from your family. Alright, and that chance will always be there and always be present. Alright, uh, as far as money goes, like I said, you take that chance. When they find out you're illegal, they're going to be like, hey, do you want to go back to Mexico and possibly lose your family and never see them again? Or do you want to work for me and keep your mouth shut and you know you work for me two, three, four, five dollars? Yeah, that's just how that works, alright? So. With that being said, um, you know, he wants to make payments of $450,000 a person, and compensation could be issued to immigrants affected by uh, Trump's zero tolerance, tolerance immigration policy and effort to resolve lawsuits filed on behalf of parents and children who say the government subjected them to lasting physical trauma. All right, so $450,000 a person. Do you know how much that is? You know how many people have been separated from, like, and how, how are you going to go about this, all right? You know, there's been thousands, probably, that have been separated, okay? So, you do 450,000. I mean, by the time you do three people, you're into the millions, all right, of just compensation, all right? But another thing is, how are you going to know who's actually telling the truth or not? They could just be like, yeah, I got separated, and... I mean, how, how are we going to check this? There's no paperwork to check it because they're illegal. They don't have documents or anything. So, I mean, how are we actually going to check and see if these people are actually separated or not? That's my biggest question. How are we going to check and see if they're separated? Or if they're just lying and saying they were. Alright. But $450,000 because they are saying lasting physical trauma due to the government. Okay, the government didn't well, let me rephrase this, alright? When Trump was in office, he didn't say come over here, alright? He was saying stay over there and do stuff the proper way and then come over here, alright? Joe Biden's telling you pretty much, hey, come over here. But at the end of the day, do you do what everybody tells you to do? You know, you gotta use common sense in this, alright? But $450,000 is crazy, but it, it gets better, alright? Now, the journal say that the Department of Justice, Homeland Security, Health, and Human Services are going to sing payments that could amount to close to $1 million a family. All right. The final payment amounts could change as, as some families will likely get small payouts, depending on their circumstances. All right. But $1 million, okay? Are you serious? $1 million. So, they can just say, hey, I'm separated from my family. I want, I want money. Right, even if you get four hundred and fifty thousand dollars, do you know how much, how long it takes a person to make that? All right, I mean, and if you make twenty dollars an hour, all right, and you work forty hours a week, you're not gonna get that in two. You're not gonna get that in years. It's gonna take you years to make that. But here, they get this in one time just because they say they were separated, or because the government's saying come over here, or even a million dollars. Most people will never even see a million dollars in their lifetime. But these people come over here illegally, break the law, 
you know, it's Skateboarder Patrol, and they yet they get a million dollar payout for that. All right. Now, um, Journal also reported that around 940 claims have been filed by immigrant families who were separated at the border. All right. 940. All right. So let's just do the math on this. All right. I am going to do the math. All right. So. 940 times 425,000. That's 399,500,000. 399,500,000, all right? And of course, if everybody gets a million, that's $940 million. All right, we are so far in debt now that, like, I mean, we are so far in debt that we don't need to be spending money on stupid stuff like this. You know, it is what it is, okay? Now, in 2018, the American Lo uh, Civil Liberty Union, citing numbers provided by the government, said at least 2,654 immigrant children were separated from their parents or caregivers under Trump's immigration policies. But again, you take that chance when you cross the border illegally, right? I mean, you, you take that chance, all right? But again, um, all right. Here's a, here's another thing. All right. Um, this is from Dan Crenshaw. For perspective, if a service member is killed in action, their next of kin gets a four hundred thousand dollar insurance payment. Four hundred thousand dollars. All right. And yet we're talking about a minimum here. Uh, four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So actually, I did that wrong. I did four hundred twenty-five thousand. So you know, you're just gonna figure around five hundred million. All right. So four hundred and fifty thousand dollars for these people come illegally. Up to a million dollars come illegally. Maybe a little less uh, than four hundred fifty thousand. Maybe a little more. But anyways, four hundred thousand dollars if you killed in line of duty. Your next king gets that if you're in the military. You cross the border illegally. Boom, hey, here's 450000 We don't know if you're lying or telling the truth. You get a million, you get 450000 you get 400000 you get 800000 700000 you get a million. You know, you're just handing out free money. Like, I, I don't get it. We need to take care of our troops, our first responders, um, our people that actually live in America before we try to take care of any other people and other people's problems. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll stay safe out there.